Hello, and welcome to Fridays with Brandon. Today is episode number 44 on Fluke Fridays, and today what we're going to go over is a new firmware upgrade on the Link IQ. Uh, I already updated this firmware, but you're going to see it later in this video on how to do that. But I did want to show you what comes with it. So for the first time, if you're already an existing customer and you own one of these, you can go on and you can download this new firmware for free from Fluke, and you can now see, wait for it, bum ba da bum IP address. So when you get in here, not only can you see the switch name, uh, the port ID, you can actually see a bunch of other information, MAC address, different things, uh, VLAN, and IP address. So the IP address is a brand new thing, and we have it now. The other thing is down here at the bottom, it will ping, so you can click this. This is new with this firmware update, and you can see all this information. So stick around for the rest of the video if you want to see how to download this and upgrade your Link IQ with this new firmware. So if you click the link below, it's going to take you to this website. And what will happen is from here, you are going to first download Linkware PC Software 11, standalone install version. Click that. It's going to bring you to this page. If you have a sign-in, you can obviously do that. If you don't, you're going to fill out all your information and then hit create new account. From there, you will get a email. And in the email, you're going to click the link. And it says password reset. And you'll type a new password in. save so that's there or you can go back and click that I think we can go back and just click the uh, same thing we did before okay and then it's downloading so the first thing we're going to do is download linkware PC software 11.0 so I downloaded Linkware PC Software 11.0 and I uh, already downloaded that and installed that on the PC and then I downloaded this which is the next thing that uh, says you, you need to do uh, the Link IQ um, Cable and Tester version 1.1 software. So I've got both those downloaded. So I have the uh, Link IQ turned on. I'm going to connect via the USB cable that in and once it's connected it says connected via USB and now I'm going to go to the software or the PC again and open up Linkware. So after we connect the Link IQ to the software or to the PC we're going to open up Linkware and from here we are going to go to up here utilities down to Link IQ and then update software and it's going to pull up like this and we have to find that file we downloaded earlier it's in my downloads update liq.swu select that I hit open and we wait We can go up here, settings, and about, we see we have the new firmware or new software right here, 1.1 build 3, 
and that's it. Okay, we're gonna check out this new firmware. Um, just updated the Link IQ, and now we're gonna see if we can see IP address information and what that's gonna look like. I've got the ethernet plugged into my switch down there amongst all of my kids' toys, and here we go. We're gonna hit auto test, and you can see it's gonna go through the process. You can see now we see an IP address on here as it thinks. So that, that IP, that's that's the new thing with this software, or with this, yeah, software update. So you can see the port number, 4C, switch name, and the IP address. And then down here, it's going to give me ping of 16 milliseconds. So very cool. It's searching for power over Ethernet. I don't think my switch has power over Ethernet. Um... And it does not. So there we go. Then we can hit save results if we want to save the results. There you go. I hope this is helpful, everybody. Take care. I've been able to play with this a little bit more, and I wanted to share a couple of things with you guys. So obviously this home stream, you see ping, and you see the different things. But you also see these arrows. So if we click on one of these units, then you can see a bunch more information that we hadn't seen before. Uh, come on. Get it in focus for you. So you can see the switch name, description, port, VLAN, web or IP address, MAC address, protocol. Okay, so you see that under the switch information. And then down here at the bottom, the ping, you can see all sorts of information. So about the network. So hopefully this is beneficial and you guys can see all this information and that really helps you get excited about this new software slash firmware update and I would encourage you to follow the link below and go ahead and upgrade your Link IQ if you already own one. If you don't, um, it should, if you're buying one now, it should come with this already. Okay, thanks and uh, have a good day.